love you guys. I'm here at the beach. Um, just reading, chilling, and for some reason this morning I had the thought to write everything down that I've accomplished this year and when you look at it, like after you finish and everything, you realize you've done a lot and that you don't really give yourself enough credit for what you have done and you really tend to focus on the things that you haven't done. So, just a tip, if you haven't, Sit down and write all the things you've done this year, accomplished this year that you didn't think you would. And you might really surprise yourself. I mean, no matter how small or how big you think the list is going to be, I think you should do it regardless. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a break and celebrate you. Because odds are, if you don't really sit down and think about it, you probably really won't realize how great you are. What's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Um, as you can see right now, I am deep conditioning my hair I honestly did not wash my hair after I got back from the beach I just rinsed it with water and then put some moisturizer on it and called it good which I probably shouldn't have done it because my hair was really matted this morning but let me show you the deep conditioner that I'm using um, it's embrace the curl uh, strengthen my uniqueness it's very thin so like you don't have to use that much to put them on your strands um if you cannot hear I'm super congested like I'm sick again. I'm going on three weeks and I've been sick twice with the cold. And I think it's from surfing the other day and just getting the seawater in my nasal cavity and in my throat. But I'm starting to feel better. I've been taking like vitamin C shots and drinking orange juice. Yeah, I'm gonna go wash this out, take a shower, and I'll talk to you guys later. What's up? All right, just got back from work. Y'all look so crazy right now. Whatever. Um, just got back from work and I just got a new AC unit installed and it is finally getting cold in my place. I'm so freaking happy because, oh, I'm telling you, it was so hot in here and now I'm starting to feel the coldness. Um, I'm getting a little hungry, so I'm about to order some dinner. I actually just met one of my neighbors, Nikki, and Nikki, if you're watching this, what up? Um, you were a pleasure to talk to, and I'm so glad I met you. Um, and my other neighbors, I met them today too, but I didn't really get their names, but yeah. So, that was good. I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but yeah, let's order some food. So, if you're in Indonesia, you definitely have to get the Gojek app. Um, you can order a motorbike, a car, a bluebird, food, pulsa, or pusa. Um, you can even get, pay your bills, go shopping, um, go get a cleaner, get a massage, get makeup done, laundry done. This app is so clutch, and now I'm about to order some food because I don't really feel like going anywhere, and why not? I'm in the mood for sushi, so let's see. Yeah, the veggie lovers, avocado roll, cucumber roll, and the mango roll. Uh, for $32,000, uh, let me put my address in. This is not my address, so let me put that in real quick. All right, and my total comes out to 37,000 rupiah. I'm gonna order. So we just spent 37,000 rupiah on dinner. And to give you an idea of how much that was for a 12 piece sushi, two dollars and fifty four cents bam I think it was worth it delivery fee and everything so yeah you usually pay like half that for like dinner that you pick up but I mean it is what it is I'm being lazy all right y'all so I just got off work and I'm kind of tired of using these Gojek helmets so I'm gonna go get my own so that I can just use my own helmet and maybe even put some silk on the inside um yeah so we're gonna go find a helmet right now, and yeah. Oh, this one's not bad. I like it. Okay, got my helmet. Only paid 100000 so that means it's not a good one, but hey, it'll do. It'll do, but I also don't plan on falling down, so it is what it is. Oh, 
I just uploaded a video on my channel called What Teachers Do on Their Day Off. And it's just a small video of me um, doing what I do on my day off. Right now, I just left Stop for Prima. Can you see that? Stop for Prima. Hack, if you're moving to Bali, shop for everything you need at Dock or Prima because that's local prices. It's like a container store for one dollar. Everything's like a dollar or under, or maybe a couple more dollars. But rice cookers, fans, kettles, forks, knives, um, everything you need is in Dock or Prima. Mops, brooms, trash cans, you name it. So don't go crazy and just go like all over the market. Just come here. All right, I'm gonna go home and show you what I got. Yo, I'm back home, and let me show you what I got. It's nothing like exciting, so don't get your hopes up. Some spoons, cause spoons. Forks, because also forks. I got this measuring tape because my couch does not have cushions on it right now, and I need to know how long I need my couch cushions to be. And I'm gonna take this with me when I go to the market to go find them. So, you know, it just keeps life a little bit more uh, easy. And I'm pretty sure I can use that for other things too. So, then I got this basket for my hair products. Cause I have nothing to put them in besides my suitcase. I'm trying to do away with that. And then I got this black, well, this black or brown. I got this brown basket with this lid for my undies, bras, and socks. Because let me show you what my wardrobe looks like and why I need this basket. So right now, this is my wardrobe. And if you open it up, it's just like space. So <laughs> I just need something to hold my things in. Like I could just stack all my underwear and socks in the corner or whatever, but it'd just be easy to have like something like this. So that is what I got. I'm about to try to organize it a little bit, get things unpacked before I go to work in a couple hours. And uh, yeah, it's been a pretty productive day. I'm really happy with myself. Pat on the back for me. I am having a pretty great day off. I'm just running some errands. This morning I woke up and got some Wi-Fi set up in my house. It's gonna take about three days to a week, they said, to set up. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I went to the plant nursery, um, just kind of by chance, and then I went crazy and got some new plant friends. So let me show you what I got. So I got this huge palm, like I could not resist. Look how beautiful it is. I don't know if I want it right there, but that's where it is right now. Mini house tour, but I'm not gonna show you everything. So this is my living room right now. Please don't laugh at my park bench couches. <laughs> I have not sat on them because they don't even look comfortable. So yeah, there's that. And then I got this little succulent plant. It was just so cute. Like They look like little green pine cones, so I'm living for it. And then I got this guy. Mm, I'm not crazy about him, but he's cute. You know, I'm not partial. Then I got this medium palm here. I don't know if it's gonna stay there. I might put it in one of the bedrooms. And then, one of my favorite plants I got today is this cactus. So huge. I think it's taller than me, honestly. But as you can see, there's gonna be some little flowers here. So I'm super excited about that. We have some more flowers probably gonna bud here. And then I got these cute little, uh oh, focus. Got these cute little hanging plants. Got one here. And then I have another here. I should have got two of these. I really like this one. But I probably will replace those with something else and put those elsewhere. But yeah, that's all I got. And here is what my living room looks like so far. We're just doing piece by piece. So next might be a rug or something. I went ahead and measured this couch to start DIYing it. So I'm gonna DIY myself a couch. Um, starting with this little bench. So honestly, I just need to clean them off first. Yeah, I need to do that. 
All right, I am about to have lunch and then I'm going to go to Ubu today. I'm going to Ubu to have a photo shoot and maybe do some exploring, maybe look at some cushions for these couches and yeah, see what else we get into. All right, I'm ready to go. So this is my look for the day. I have on this batik two piece that I found at the mall. Oh, so cute, so light and airy. And then I just kind of freestyled it and made it like a halter with a bandeau underneath. And yeah, so gonna go to Ubud. See you guys there. We are at Pura Saraswati Temple. It's a Saraswati Temple. Yes, yeah, Saraswati Temple. Absolutely beautiful. Very peaceful. Ha! Huh. Love it here. Yeah. I'll show you exactly what I'm looking at right now. So now we're at the Kipuhin Ridge Walk and it's so beautiful out here. Do you want to be in the video? <laughs> Say hey! <laughs> Tell them your name. Hi, my name is Trista. Hello. And she's here in Bali writing a book and we wish her the best. Yeah. Finish the book. Um, but yeah. Ubud is actually pretty beautiful. Now I'm like, why do I live in Dimpasar? <laughs> but maybe, maybe in a year, maybe two years, I'll move again. But yeah, at least it's only a couple of minutes away, and I can always come here to visit. So yeah, now the sun is setting and it's beautiful. Let me show you what it looks like. What's up y'all? So after we got done exploring the hiking trail, I ended up going back home and writing a new blog, which is up on my website now, talking about why I decided to move abroad. So I'll link it below. Check that out. And now I'm just here at Bolt. I think it's called Bolt Fifth Cafe. Great cafe in Timbazar, Bali. Check it out. I'm going to edit this vlog, get it up for you, and yeah, see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, and check out my Patreon, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!